Hey guys, it's been a while. This is a quick t update after two years of breeding the blue crayfishes. This tank is due a cleaning soon, so I figured I'd show you what it looks like before cleaning. Lots of molts. That's why I haven't cleaned it yet. Let's zoom in. Multiple generations in this one tank. Baby ones. It's looking good. You might see a lot hanging on to the greenery. Loads of baby grows. Oh, zoom. Yeah, I was busy moving house, so I had to transport all of these crows. That's a female. You can tell by the thickness of the claws. And this is a male. Notice how longer the male's claws are. Male and female. Oh, she sees me. They're very sensitive to vibrations and movement. Yeah. Yeah, the focus is a little bit off because the glass needs cleaning. All of this will be done when I uh, give the tank a clean. I'll upload a new video for that. <laughs> Attacking the glass. <laughs> but yeah, let's go into the next room. This is a tank with a couple of females in. She's just chilling in a hole. Oh, too much zoom. She sees me <laughs> constantly watching. And there's another one under the pump. And these are my two favorite females. These females are about three, uh, just over two years old now, these females. These are from my first breed. So these are the longest active females that I have these are practically ready to breed you notice that she's regenerating one of her claws so it looks really small compared to the other one that happened uh, during molting so sometimes when they molt uh, they drop their claws so they can slip out the molt easier but it will completely grow back it just takes time Ooh. They sense my vibrations. That's why I try to be quiet. Ooh, look at her. Look at that claw there. And this is another female. Oh, focus. Yeah, and these two tanks will also get cleaned tomorrow, so I'll do a new video of this. Now this is the interesting tank, this is the dark tank, this is a little experiment I'm running. This also has a lot of babies in here, but it's really dark and I don't put the flash on because they're really sensitive so. 
eventually I'll move them out of this tank into the big tank. When they're spawning, it's easier to spawn them in a small tank so you can capture them easier. So when they get to around four weeks old, you just put, uh, move the decoration out, run a net through, catch as many as you can and put them into the big tank so they can grow to adult size. This is a tank of males. I try to keep the males and the females separate because the males will actually try to breed the females to death. So it's good to separate. It's a good looking male. But they can also get a little bit bigger. As you see in the back there, one didn't survive because he killed him. And he's in the process of eating him. But that happens in crawfish world. It's part of the natural selection process. If some get sick or fail molt because they don't molt properly, uh, they will just get killed off by the competition and eaten. So it's good to just leave the corpses in there because he'll continue to eat him, get calcium and protein from him. So it's a good source of protein. The biggest craw in here is towards the back. I don't know if you can see him pretty dark back there he likes it in the dark so he's just relaxing behind the coconut and this is the second tank let's just get back so you can have a look at the size so two tanks the dark tank and this tank they both have babies in it so like the same again this is to see the size difference and and when they get to four weeks old i uh, take out the decorations scoop them up and put them into the big tank and then start a new breeding cycle and it, it helps to maintain the population like they molt so they'll eat the malts for calcium and stuff so it's good to just let as many of them breed as possible and leave all the malts inside the tank that way they have a good source of calcium so it's self-sustaining and then in this one I have uh, two males it's a small one let me zoom but this is what I call a proving tank this is where I put a select few males in there just to see oh there's one there too he's a small one Eventually they'll get moved out of this tank and put into the 125 with the other males Because they'll get a bit too big for that one Like this one is the king male of this tank. He's huge. He's about the same size as my hand nearly You'll notice a lot of them are missing claws because they fight Male claws love to fight. That's all they do fight and breed and eat That's all they ever do they don't dig holes. The females dig the holes. The males just sit out in the... doing random stuff. <sighs> like they know I'm here. So they could probably see me better. I can see them. They have tremendously good eyesight. There's a lot in that cave. But all of this is molt and fallen claws. That's good protein. That's good calcium and it adds to making a more healthier bluer craw. Now this one has a vast majority of females in. Like that's a female, few babies, more babies, female craw, female craw at the back there. Whoa, look at that. Just making a video now and there's a thunderstorm going on. Need to close my window. <laughs> uh. Wow. Massive thunderstorm. But yeah, that's crazy. 
The weather the past few days has been extremely chaotic. Look at that. This was just going to be a crawfish video, but look at that. Hey, it's a two for one video. Give you a quick show of my room. This is my artwork. I painted these. I also like to collect fossils and antique crosses and stuff. Some trilobites. Various collections. This one I crafted myself. Double collection. Communion crosses. That one I painted myself. <laughs> Mass selection of DVDs. This one I also crafted myself. That Buddha statues are like uh, close to a hundred years old. This one's from like the 50s or 60s. This one's just a ceramic one, so it's fake. Cat rules. <laughs> Various rock collection. Composite of geodes. This is my green corner. Yeah, I like plants too. It's nice to add a bit of greenery to the room. But this is why I haven't uploaded for a while because I've been moving house. And this is also a collection. Yeah. But yeah, look at that. Snowing. Crazy. Let's go back to the crawfishes. See, they already sense that I'm coming. And that's just from my footsteps. A defensive position by a female craw. Oh, there she goes. Notice how that one there has lost a lot of claws and legs. That's what the that's what the males do. The, they use their long pincers and they grab them by their legs and their front pincers and uh, they'll keep breeding them. So I've ha this is why I separate all the males from this tank and put them into that tank. It's much better, and it's safer for the females too. I right, look at this male full-on attack mode he's ready to attack <laughs> loads of malts and there's one female in this tank she's gave birth to all of these these are her offspring and they're looking tremendously healthy and they're really large for their age so I expect a good amount of females from this one, a good amount of males from this one, and it will keep going. <sighs> but yeah, I think I'll leave the video there for now. And I'll try and make weekly uploads so you can see the growth progress of the, the baby crawls. See, they're all coming out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry I'm on my mobile phone recording these. I'm hoping to get a better camera for better footage and more clearer, much more stable filming environment. But like I said, I've been moving house, so it's a bit difficult for me right now. I had to save money and uh, you know how it is. Alright then guys, thanks.
Bye.